Welcome back everybody, iOS 26 Beta 4. Yes, this is still the uh, developer beta guys. The version right now is 23A5297i and this replaces the previous one. Now, what is good? Long story short in this version, liquid glass is back, some new icons here, which is really good compared to Beta 3 where Apple toned down liquid glass and people are even thinking, hey, you know, like Apple are trying to get rid of liquid glass. But let's start first with the new things. Now, when you go inside uh, your home screen and you try to modify the wallpapers, starting a better tree, we already get some new wallpapers, the shadow, and then we have the sky, halo, and dusk. But hey, in the better four right now, we have a dynamic one, which is good and dynamic means that it's going to change the appearance of the wallpaper during the day. Second new thing guys, when you scroll down and you access your lock screen, the moment you engage with your notifications, the whole lock screen is going to get darker. It's gonna get dimmed. And this actually means that yeah, first liquid glass is back here and then second, now all your notifications are a bit more pronounced. And right now we can see like this is very, very readable. And the better one and the better two, this was a problem because it was really too bright if, in case you're using a bright wallpaper and then with the glass effect on top, it wasn't that readable. And in better three, they toned it down. People were hating it because, hey, where the heck is my glass effect? And now guys, it's back and it's better because right now the whole background you see here, this is it. And the moment I just click on the notification, by the way, beautiful animations, the whole screen is gonna get dim, it's gonna get dark. And this is actually very, very good. Now, guys, Pay attention, I'm gonna pinpoint to an application that has a new icon, all right? Which one is this? Okay, it's the camera. Let me try to zoom in, guys. The camera icon right now looks like this. So it has a bit more of a lens compared to the old icon, and I know that's really just a tiny thing, but hey, still a new thing, and there are more new things <laughs> around the camera, not only the camera icon. I'm gonna start the application, and now boom, we have the new welcoming message, the new camera design, a streamlined design elevates photo and video mode. Simply swipe left or right to access additional modes. Tap the control button on the top to access settings. Apple changed the button behavior. Compared to the previous version, now we can very smoothly go to the left and the right and invoke all the nice modes with these very nice and beautiful transitions. Honestly, guys, the new iOS 26 Beta 4 and general iOS 26 camera interface is very, very good because it's very simplistic and you have all this nice setting that really overlap. Right now I'm in a video mode so I can very easily go and decide, okay, what resolution I want and also the frame rate. And you can see very nice and cool, beautiful animations with this blur effect. And by the way, this thing here is an all iPhone 13, right? And it still works acceptable, right? I can here access my ultra wide and my main camera. And then from here, I can of course access additional settings. And you can see we have again, this glass effect here. And it's by the way, in real time, right? You can see right now I'm applying this directly on everything that my lens is able to see. Now, when I go to the photo mode, it's pretty much the same. I can go to the ultra wide and the, uh, the main wide camera and clicking here uh, will get me my settings. And just take a look at this beautiful animation. It's spending so nice, so cool. And again, we have to praise Apple guys. This thing here uh, is the glass effect in real time. It's absolutely now applied as an overlay to everything that my lens is able to see. And we get here these crazy refractions. Uh, I don't really uh, know if people are just obsessed on things like this, but I do believe that this is very, very good. This really shows the attention of detail. And there has been so many interviews with Greg Federighi and some of the other Apple guys. They really spend a lot of time working on this design. And I'm gonna say this, I said this also in the previous videos, they now believe that Apple Silicon is so good that they can potentially use this real life glass effect. And it really works. You can see, by the way, here, you know, you can see the background, what happens. All right, one more time. The moment I get close to my Tiger logo here, all right, you can see this moves around. So what can I tell you guys? This thing looks really, really good. And it seems that they brought the liquid glass back not only on the notifications, uh, and it's more pronounced, they also brought it some of the other system menus. Now, everything that happens here, right, you can see beyond uh, this bar is more emphasized, more liquid glass. Now, I don't have an option to show you the better tree, but in better tree, right, this was a bit dull, and it was even at some point like, 
it kind of lost the liquid glass effect. Now this thing is back and it works like a charm. So we can see we have this nice transparency and we have this nice real-time reflection effects. Uh, this is just uh, amazing. And this happens not only in uh, the photos. If I open the music up, it's gonna be the same. When I jump between the home and the radio and the library, right now all these buttons here, definitely liquid glass is back. And you know why I do like it, guys? Because uh, this is a effect in real time. and It really works cool. It's very lightweight, even on an old iPhone. And I really hope that this is gonna work like as sweet as a charm on the newer iPhones, which is good. And also the other reason that I really like it for is that it kind of brings the nostalgia in me, like the old days before Journey Ive, where, you know, Apple was very huge and big on skeuomorphism, where, you know, you have glass is glass and wood is wood and metal is metal and plastic. Okay, not plastic, but glass for sure. But now they brought this thing back and also inside Safari, guys. Okay, this was something that annoyed me in the previous beta because they kind of tone down this whole bar here and I really like the new Great Safari for the main reason that now I have a full control of my screen and um, this is a rather small phone the iPhone 13 and by minimizing this whole bar I can see more of my web page and you can see the glass effect here so beautiful all right I'm gonna do this one more time and attention the moment I move to a black background you know we have a change and now I can really see it's Porsche.com it's really the car I want to buy right <laughs> no mistake here the moment I go to a wider section you know, it's going to change again. And this wasn't so flawless in the previous betas, but right now I think that Apple mastered this. So the thing is that they are not only bringing the liquid glass back, but they enhance the liquid glass readability by just making it a bit more adaptive and a bit more aware of everything that goes behind this liquid glass effect. This is really stunning. They said it in so many interviews, Greg Federighi and the other Apple guys, that they wanted to give us something that really resembles like real glass material with all the refractions. And I do believe that they nailed this, all right? And I know what a lot of people are going to say, hey, it's a, it's a gimmick, we don't want that, we don't want this and that, but hey, I mean, this is how Apple now decided that the iOS will look like, and I don't think we're going back. We still have the same options, I can go here in edit, uh, and it's potentially a good time for us to see uh, the clear design. <laughs> okay, this is the clear design right now. All right, there's still mixed feelings about this, but hey, I said it in my previous video, uh, we need to praise Apple for theming down every goddamn element here, every goddamn widget, every goddamn icon, everything here is absolutely themed. And this is, I mean, it's still hard to get with Android 16 and the material expressive design tree and whatsoever. I'm not saying that you cannot go there, but here we can get this boom only with one touch. And I really like it. Even now with the clear icons, you can see everything that happens beneath the icons, guys. This is absolutely in real time. It's really impressive. Going back to my notification to just tell you that it seems that the AI or the Apple intelligence notification summaries, this thing is back for entertainment apps and for news, but apparently I don't have a way to activate it. But okay, at least I can give you another option to just see how cool and how readable all these notifications now are with the new dim background. Also, when we go inside the App Store, it's gonna be the same. The liquid glass effect is gonna be still very pronounced in all the section that you go. Specifically, guys, I'm specifically referring here to this bar and you can see when I jump between apps and arcade and games, we have the liquid glass effect and I really, really love it. And you can see, by the way, it's not a joke. At the moment I just go here, you can see liquid glass is back. Now let's go inside the settings and allow me to show some of the small changes. When you go inside the settings and you search for sound and haptics, Right, and you scroll down, there's gonna be something called the reduce late sounds. This was the previous late night mode. So now it's called the reduce loud sounds. And it has also a description, reduces audio volume range and creates softer sound effects while maintaining the quiet details of the original audio. Oh, and who would have told? Also, the toggles kind of look interesting. Let's go back inside the settings and let's scroll down to the face ID and passcode. The moment I touch this, guys, you're gonna get this new updated design where the iPhone is prompting me to enter my postcode like this, boom. You can see, very nice, very flashy, expanded from the right to the left. Now let's go inside the passwords application and when we scroll down, we're gonna see something called allow contact the website, which means right now that this application can allow the app to contact websites and it can show the names and even the icons for the apps in the websites uh, to let you know, hey, listen, you know, we support password storing for this site or for this application. So this is it. If you don't like it, boom, you can remove it. And now going back inside the settings, you can see that even inside the settings, we have the liquid glass fully, fully back. 
right? And again, it's subtle, right? But you can still see this level of nice transparency uh, and it's kind of translucent and it really works well. And imagine again, I have to emphasize this. This is an old iPhone 13. By the way, when testing this, I found one bug on my iPhone. That's again, the iPhone 13. If I go to general and then about, oh yeah, you see it force closes. And <laughs> all right, this is still to remind us that this is still a better guy. So one more time, I'm going inside uh, general, then about, boom, it closes. But guys, this is still a developer beta. But I'm just thinking that it looks so good. And I really hope that very, very soon, probably just around the summer, Apple are going to be able to push the first official beta because this is iOS 26 beta 4. And this thing here is still like developer preview, right? So it's not intended for a lot of the end users out there to mess around because as you can see, there are some bugs to be expected. But honestly, with the toning down of the liquid glass and with creating more adaptivity on all the backgrounds and and with all these new changes, I do believe that, yeah, iOS 26, we're looking for a great, great release. Let me know what you think down below in the comments, guys. Stay safe, VST over, and bye.